In this video, I am going to try to provide you with another example, because I've already made a few of these videos, of why you might have water leaking from the base of a toilet when using either a bathtub, a shower, or maybe even a sink. So I'm going to start off in this video that most of the time you're going to have a clog in the pipe if this is happening. And if I have a clog in the red areas here, then the drainage water is going to be backing up in these pipes here. And if I have clogs along the bottom here in a two-story house, then there's a very good chance all of the water from up here is going to be coming out down here. So that's if you have a two-story house. If you have a single-story house with a drain pipe going to the sewer at this level here, basically, and you have a clog in this section here. When you go to flush your toilet, you're going to start to fill up the pipes. And there's two types of clogs you can have. A partial clog that allows some water to flow through it, and a clog pipe that doesn't allow any water to flow through it. And the individual who originally asked this question is probably dealing with a partially clogged pipe. Because in their question, they said they can still use the toilet and the bathtub, except sometimes while using the bathtub, water will come out of the bottom of the toilet. And I went ahead and did some more research on this. I wanted to know how much water pressure a wax ring could actually handle. And the conclusion I came up with is not much. The wax ring on your toilet is not designed in the same way that the fittings are, that you are gluing and connecting together and creating a watertight connection that will hold water under pressure. The wax ring is not that. Its job is to allow water to pass by it using gravity and air in the pipes provided by the vents that will allow the water to flow easily through the water pipes. And the toilet flange connection is usually going to be a little lower than the bathtub connection and definitely lower than the sink connection. And if I created a two-dimensional drawing of the bathtub with the drain, with the trap, I got the vent here, clean out drainage pipe here, and then we have the sink connecting here with its trap, and then we have the toilet and its connecting point here, and then of course we have a vent for the toilet. And if we don't have any clogged pipes, then the water can flow freely through the pipes. And if filling up the bathtub or the sink does not create a water leak around the base of your toilet, then you could have a problem with your wax ring. However, if you do have a clog or a partial clog in the pipe and you use your sink or your toilet or your bathtub, you're going to be filling the pipe up with wastewater. And this can put pressure on the wax ring connection and cause water to leak out of the base of your toilet. And to fix something like this, you're going to have to get rid of the partial or clogged drain. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.